All right, everyone, this is a MTR fab video, and this is MTR. Today I'm inside. It's kind of nice and sunny right now, but I wanted to show you the layout. So I've been trying to figure out the electronics, and I wanted to discuss a few things. I've got... The original idea was to build a full door around the whole perimeter and remove that. However, I keep thinking I wanted to build in a charger. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to need to take these batteries out in an easy manner. And you can see there's extra room in there if I want to upgrade the batteries. But, you know, removing them all the time, I'm going to want to have the switch stay in its location and then this section be removable. So that's the new plan. Now the the switch has three posts, one's common and then one is each battery. So if you look at it, now it says one, two up top, there's one on that side and it says two on that side. So I can either use one battery or both batteries. I'm going to use both batteries in parallel and this is how we're going to have to wire them. This way I'll be able to select one battery or the other or use both in a parallel configuration always being 24 volts of output. Now if you see I've got some stuff drawn in here. This is the one battery this is the second battery. They're tied together before they go into a fuse to the common terminal on that switch. So the switch is represented right here and they're going to come into that switch and you can select either this circuit or this circuit or both circuits. And so we're normally going to use them in both but you could run this system on one battery if it's set up this way. Um, I'm going to show you the XT60 connectors that I'm going to use. The factory wiring on the original uh, controller setup for those motors on the wheelchair assembly was 14 gauge. Everything I'm doing is in 12 gauge. And I think these are even, yeah, these are 10 gauge wires. But everything from here on out is 12 gauge. I built this little connector which parallels these two together. And I could go directly in there, but there's no fusing. So we're going to fuse it and then put the switch in line. To share is the bulkhead connector for the USB. So in order to get USB out of this without having to take the cover off every time, I'm going to put this in the cover, build a permanent panel here that's going to house this switch and this port. And as far as I know, that's all that's going to be in there. Then there's going to be a removable door here that's going to gain me access to the batteries in which I'll be able to plug and unplug through these XT60 connectors. All right, everyone. Sorry it's short, but this is MTR Fab. If you uh, liked what you see, you know, um, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.